Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks, and I'm here with Andy. Andy, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Andy Banta. I'm the search janitor at NetApp SolidFlare. So I see you uh, you have something today. Is this a Halloween idea? What, what What's going on? This is not Halloween. This is the end of your storage admin. Oh boy, we better uh, dig into this one. Do you, I know that's heavy. Do you want to put that down while we uh, while I get this sorted out? Um, so storage admin 2016, let's get behind this. So, so Andy, does this mean the death of the storage admin? It's a little grim. It means probably the repurposing of the storage admin. All right, tell what what is the what is the old and what is the new? Well, uh, the old was typically the storage admin would be the person who would go carve up storage, uh, set various different settings on the storage, um, kind of basically decide the policies that uh, people would use for. Um, the policies that people would uh, apply for using their storage. Uh, I think the new is the idea that um, actually a virtualization administrator would be the one who does an awful lot of figuring out what what uh, policies you want to be able to, or what capabilities you want your storage to have, and uh, how you would use policy-based management from the VMware side to actually take advantage of that. Um, the whole idea with solid fire storage is that we are going to make solid. We want to make solid fire invisible to your administration staff. Once you install the storage, it should be entirely your virtualization administrator that sets up uh, the policies that are they want to use, uh, creates the virtual machines, decides uh, how to logically partition them out for different departments or different customers, and. Uh, and forget about the fact that there's actually something behind that that needs to happen. So uh, you introduce yourself as a storage janitor. So obviously you've talked about the technical piece. What about the 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 mental shift that we all have to make? How, when you talk to customers, do you help out with this transition? So it's like you said, not necessarily the death, but the transfer of skills. Uh, right, and the way that you actually uh, think about this with customers is um, you don't necessarily want to go in and, and be talking to the storage administrator or the storage uh, staff. You you want to talk to the consumers of the storage. In that case, would be the virtualization administrator, the app administrator, the app owners. Uh, where the next generation data center is actually turning it to a much more uh, on-demand driven uh, environment. The idea that you don't spin up VMs that stay running for years and years and years. I mean, you still do to some extent, but. Lots of times you're going to be spinning up VMs that last for a couple minutes, and the ones that you spin up right now might not need, have the same needs as ones that you're going to be setting up later on. And this is something that the virtual administration, uh, administ or virtual virtualization administrator understands. Uh, it's not something that you want to have to involve a storage admin in every step of the way. And it, the way that you've traditionally uh, carved out storage, it's something that would have required, hey. I need this for this morning and I need this for this afternoon. Uh, can you go reprovision the storage? Not the way it works anymore. Uh, and actually, uh, with virtual volumes, uh, it, with uh, VMware solutions, you can actually drive this entirely from the virtualization console. So you can go in and you can create virtual machines. You can set the policies for them uh, for various different QS. Uh, you can run them. You can change the policies dynamically without actually moving data around when you're done. You throw them away and start over. Well, it sounds pretty exciting. Like we're getting rid of some of the purely administrative and focusing. I hate to say it, but data is king in some ways. That data fabric story that 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 is what drives us all. Truly, a data center instead of thinking about the infrastructure behind it, but the data in it. Right, and and actually, uh, not just the data in it, but the uses of that data center, uh, the various different consumers of that. Uh, you you could have like the test and development people doing one thing one day and. Uh, finance people doing something entirely different the other day, and at the same time, it's all running in one data center. You don't end up with siloed storage or, or siloed environments. You have a single next generation data center that pretty much uh, acts as an internal cloud for your business and provides infrastructure as a service. So less of a death than a celebration of what's to come. That's still a death. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Andy. Oh, thank you. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.